Iron Slats have a way of rebranding and repackaging themselves. Be very vigilant. Don't be a retirement scheme for war veterans. <laughs> oh my God. Not a keeper. Hashtag masculinity Saturday. War veterans. <laughs> The Battle of the Bulge. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Today we are diving into Masculinity Saturday. Hashtag. <laughs> Did I delay my upload schedule just so I could post this on a Saturday? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> For this occasion, I come with my most masculine of voices, donned with my most masculine of beards, and am ready to learn what it takes to be a real man. Muscles. <laughs> Before we start, not all of the tweets using this hashtag are terrifying. Some are sweet, like this one about teaching his kid how to swim, or this one about clothes <laughs> or motivational ones due to personal reasons i will be incredibly successful at everything i do <laughs> or this <laughs> men eggs <laughs> or this <laughs> can we go out sure yes will your boyfriend be okay with that i don't have a boyfriend then who is that man in your photos then my husband but we're just friends <laughs> <laughs> so Jokes? <laughs> but then there are these. Men, don't be mesmerized by her face and pelvic curvature. Check her feet. This is important. Check her fingers. This is also important. Her feet and fingers will tell you a lot about her character. I will not explain. But like, please explain? <laughs> now, as always, we're here to gently poke fun at some folks who hold some very weird ideas, and we're not going out to harass anyone with those weird ideas. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get started. <laughs> Men, if she dislikes cooking or chews food like a cow or eating while laughing like a ghost. <laughs> like a, <what? laughs> How do ghosts laugh? It makes me think of the stock photos of people eating salad. <laughs> this salad is hilarious. <laughs> she has poor table manners. Table manners maketh a woman, not a keeper. <sighs> Laughing like a ghost. <laughs> Man, if every time you meet her phone is always off, on flight mode, placed upside down on the table, bro, just cut your losses. A woman's phone is always active because it is her source of gossip and validation. Wow. Your girlfriend likes spending time with you? Psh, psh, better get rid of her. <laughs> she doesn't want any distractions from the conversation at hand? Psh, bail. She's pro. <laughs> Men, if your woman is the so-called social media content creator, oh, mine is <laughs> human one. Subtle promo. <laughs> Dump her. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Don't be part of her content either as a co-actor or cameraman. Oh no. <laughs> Respect your dignity as a man. Oh no. <laughs> she has a career? No. Don't support her career. That's not what men do. Oh my gosh. Men, if she recognizes an M piano song, immediately it starts beating. She's not for the streets. Oh. She runs them. Oh! <laughs> Dump her and fix yourself. Oh, the fudge is an M piano song. <laughs> okay, in the top search results for M piano song, we have. John Wick. <laughs> if she recognizes the song from John Wick, dump her. <laughs> Deary men, women do not and cannot love men. What? They only love what a man provides. Frame, resources, whoa, chickens, and seed to feed said chickens. <laughs> this is written like somebody who's never met a woman. <laughs> Fella, have you been outside? <laughs> Men, uh, just a reminder, your frame is the five M's of masculinity as presented in the trigon trigonometry. Wait, wait. <laughs> hang on a second. Definition of trigonometry. The branch of mathematics dealing with the relations of the sides and angles of triangles and with the relevant... There's no mention of any M's. <laughs> Mind. Muscle. Men. <laughs> One of the M's of masculinity is just men. <laughs> Material. Money. The trigonometry of masculine soul. Simp no more. <laughs> no. Fam, spend your money where you want to spend your money. If you want to simp, 
Go simp. Like, please. <laughs> Men, I am here to insist that do not commit to a woman with three or more body counts. She is numb, hurt. Oh my goodness, senses are dead wood. That is not... Yes. <laughs> do you remember the picture of a banana? <laughs> oh, terrible women's anatomy, please. This is not how people work. Stop. <laughs> Man, if she rushes home to watch a soap opera, think again and end that brainwashing experiment. You are raising a monster that will devour you. If she remains rude, rebellious, and combative, end it right there. Not a keeper. Fellas, does your lady have a favorite TV show? Better break up with her. <laughs> end that brainwashing experiment. You are raising a monster. You should not be, you are not, you are not raising your partner. What? They should be finished being raised. Oh my goodness. Women can smell testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> they can instantly know who's got a lot of it and who's got little of it. Notice how every woman on earth is attracted towards confidence? This is because the more testosterone you have, the more confident you will be. <laughs> um... What? <laughs> ah, the unlockable seventh secret sense. Smelling testosterone? Not an OT. What about the sixth sense? You mean seeing dead people? Good movie. <laughs> so many red flags in this photo. Protect the frame. Change or perish. <laughs> How dare you be conscientious of the person who's next to you who's shorter and try to share the photo more with them knowing that they'd be cut off otherwise. Ah, Jason Momoa. Not a real man, apparently. <laughs> Multicolored nails. Fake nails. Fake eyelashes. Equals fake heart. Not a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's safe to go through a dark forest than through a clear road. This tweet ain't about forests. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs what? <laughs> it's dangerous out there. Take this with you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't help. <laughs> Man, if she is always reminding you about your child's semblance with you, pause and reflect. <gasps> the nose they are like yours oh see these ears they're like those of your mother's uncle <gasps> she is cunningly distracting you what <laughs> go for a dna oh! <laughs> oh no you have a good looking kid must not be yours <laughs> do not let her wear the pants the p the pants <laughs> She'll lose respect for you. Hashtag men force one. Oh no. <laughs> I think we've discovered another hashtag masculine Saturday. <laughs> and I'm sorry. If I had a partner who could fit my pants, I would absolutely let them wear them. You know why? Pockets. <laughs> because until everyone's pants get equal pockets, I, I'm going to share my pants. <laughs> Man, if uh, <laughs> if uh, she has a tattoo and long multicolored nails, focus on your life. She belongs to the streets. What? I have tattoos and usually multicolored nails. Do I also belong to the streets? <laughs> Man, if she... Oh, I don't think I can keep that voice up forever. <laughs> if she is short, think twice. The mouth is her defense mechanism. Oh no! Invest in high quality earbuds. Not a keeper! We can't even date short people now! <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> what about what about short guys? I ask for a friend, of course. What what about <laughs> What about short guys? <laughs> Man, if she has tattoos and piercings, she's not a keeper. <laughs> it's only passenger buses that have graffiti. Don't date a passenger bus. <laughs> Man, I am getting married. No. <laughs> I am married to Joy. No. <laughs> Joy married me. No. I am marrying. Yes. I married Joy. Yes. Joy is married to me. What the fudge? You are a man. You are bringing her into your life. Not even getting married doesn't make you manly enough. What the fudge? <laughs> Dear man, there is this one ex-girlfriend you still fool around with. Where? Where? <laughs> she has decided to stagnate your dating life. She screenshots your conversation and shows it to her friends on how desperate you, you're, you're. Focus on building yourself. You are the prize. <laughs> this is so suspiciously specific. <laughs> and I fail to see how this is the ex-girlfriend's fault. What the fudge? <laughs> Eating eggs is what alpha males do. Yes. <laughs>
I'm an alpha! <laughs> uh, I eat eggs. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Dear men, if you buy a piece of land with graves in it, you have to be content with the relatives of the fallen visiting from time to time. This tweet is not about land. Unlear- Unlear- Wait, what? <laughs> what? If you buy a piece of land with graves in it, you have to be content with the relatives of the fallen visiting from time to time. I'm genuinely at a loss. I... <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't commit to a church girl, especially if she's above 30 years. Church girls are diabolical, duplicitous, and hypocritical. When they pray, they cry so loudly because they regret wasting their 20s kneeling for what? Instead of kneeling for God. You hear that? <laughs> Not allowed to go to church if you're over 30. <laughs> Our sweet old granny's going to church older than 30. Oh no! Dear man, if she has waist beads, avoid her! If she has anklets, avoid her! If she has bull pierced nipples, avoid her! If she has tattoos, see above! <laughs> These are groups of rogue women who have been sent to come and destroy your lives. <gasps> Learn the symbols. Ladies, if you participate in fashion and self expression, you're. rogue women. <laughs> I can't believe these are not satirical. I can't believe. Real human beings are tweeting these. Don't be part of your woman's career. I see men always going to their women's offices. Babe, I've come to check on you. Here is your lunch. This is stupidity. She can't tell you, but get it from me. You're a nuisance to her. <laughs> Honey, I can't bring you lunch anymore. The men told me not to. <laughs> what is the first name of the woman who gave you so much stress, chaos, and drama? Sample these names in order to avoid a or approach her with caution. <gasps> I dated a Brenda. Well, we can't date any more Brendas. <laughs> Martha? Not any Marthas. No more Marthas. <laughs> That's not how people work. <laughs> Names are the new astrology signs, please. <laughs> how do you know she has aborted before? Oh no. Stretch marks on her boobs. Stretch marks on her calf. Sunken malleolus of the ankle. Feet. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Feet! <laughs> Stiff hip loses concentration when you talk about babies. <laughs> Unnecessary use of facial cosmetics. Uh... Okay, time to break it down. <laughs> Stretch marks! Caused by gaining or losing weight, potentially, but a whole bunch of other things too. Not at all that. <laughs> Sunken malleolus! I... I have honestly no idea what that's about. <laughs> Beat! I can't, please. <laughs> Stiff hip! Can be caused by any number of things, like sports or existing past the age of 25. <laughs> Loses concentration when you talk about- Maybe it's a boring conversation, I don't know. <laughs> Not everybody wants babies. <laughs> uh, I don't know what inspires some of these thoughts. I'm really at a loss. <laughs> Men, sluts and slay queens have invaded Twitter to entice you. <laughs> don't be fooled. Someone who peddles nakedness online does not deserve attention. She is damaged to the core. Good lord. <laughs> Imagine seeing someone on Twitter sharing pictures of their booty and your first thought is, ah, oh, they must be flawed in some way. <laughs> Fam, honestly, if pictures of your butt could pay your bills, wouldn't you open an OnlyFans? <laughs> I would. <laughs> Women love cats because cats are selfish, mysterious, and difficult to control. Men love dogs because dogs are loyal, cheerful, and obedient. So now you know how to behave if you want to be loved by the opposite sex. I can't find the specific tweet this made me think of, but I found one that's pretty close. I don't trust people who don't like cats, excluding an allergy or something. If someone doesn't like cats' personalities, it means they don't respect boundaries, and that is a red flag, my dude. <sighs> <laughs> Just absolutely nailing it. Men? Think. It is a wrap. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Pick the right berry. To marry. Don't be in a hurry. Be slow and sure like a furry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> or your life with be blurry. What? With a lot of sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Anyways, <laughs> half the world is composed of people who have something to say and can't, and the other half who have nothing to say and keep on saying it. Robert Frost. All right, that was a good use of that hashtag, I think. <laughs> there is nothing like alpha males. Hashtag masculinity Saturday. Okay. Who's in charge in a pack of wolves? Oh, I know the answer. Miles. The one in the hat. <laughs> <laughs> is there not one? 
Yeah, so they used to think that a pack of wolves oh, had Alan an Davies alpha is male so smart. through a contest or a rivalry or something. In reality, most wolf packs are just families, and the leaders of those families are the parents. The concept of the alpha male was popularized by a wildlife biologist called David Meck in 1960s. He had spent the rest of his career trying to convince people he was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was based on a study of captive wolves where normal behavior goes completely out of the window. Sandy Top's fig is awesome. <laughs> all right, my beardos and weirdos, that's it. That's all I can take. No more. <laughs> I know we've seen the hashtag masculinity Saturday pop up for a while in the videos, and all of you have requested a video where I cover it. Well, this is it. That's it. That's the video. No more and never again. <laughs> my brain is so squishy after all of that. I feel like it <laughs> intentionally unwrinkled after all of those tweets. All right, my beardos and weirdos, if you even made it this far in the video, I hope you had a good time. Hope you liked the video. Maybe let me know what you'd like to see me cover next. Hopefully something less this. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro. I'm not even kidding. I feel so brain broke right now. <laughs> Here for the secret outro, the secretest of outros that comes after the regular outro. Ready? Boop. All right, get out of here. <laughs>